Billie Jean King, like, we always knew the public person of her, and it was really important, I know, for you to bring across the personal side of how awesome she is. Absolutely. What was something when you're portraying her, whether it was um, when she was, you know, uh, with the other woman or when she was on court, what was the one thing you always wanted to come across about Billie Jean? Her spirit. That kind of, the spirit that you feel when you walk into the room with her, you know, mm -hmm. that, that, that fire that is inside of her all the time, no matter how confused or tired or whatever she is, she has this sort of um, irrepressible drive forward that you can always feel. And um, that, that was, that was really important to me that you could still feel that that kind of energy even when she's, and in that time period she was sleeping four hours. She was just so much was weighing on her, and um, you know, but she still pushed so much forward and has changed so much for our country, yeah, and the world. And um, yeah, I think. Did it help you find something in you that you were like, it's yes. reignited? Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I think a, a confidence I didn't know or that I needed to come into um, began. It was, you know, I, I'm about to turn the age that she was in this story. And, uh, you know, 29 is a, it's a weird <laughs> age, you know? You're, like, about to be, th there's something in there. It's like a right. real adult thing right. comes through where you're, you can no longer be like, I'm just a kid. I don't know right. what I'm talking about. You well, kind of have to be like, no, I'm like, you're an adult now. And, um what do you want to do with what you're, what this life you've been given, you know? Yeah. And, um, and so that was really an inspiring thing to get to sort of step into that, that strength and, and that spirit that totally. we were talking right. about. Now yeah. you're like, it, it stayed with you. Yeah. Like I think a lot of this has. movie will stay with, especially the women that watch it. Cause it stayed with me. It was like, God, I haven't felt this flame in a minute. You That's know, awesome. it was great. No, it was great. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Now to me, you've always been one of the most outspoken level-headed ladies oh in Hollywood. Oh, thanks. So <laughs> it is about equality. Yeah. How is equality in Hollywood going for you? Well, I think it's more equality in general. That I, My biggest concern is that it's a conversation for our entire country and yeah. obviously for our planet. So, yeah, um, uh, yeah I mean, I think, you know. Do you always say, like, make sure I'm making as much as they are because I bring tickets, too? Do you well, go that far? It's the, it's the There's a lot that goes into all of that stuff when it comes to our industry that's very circumstantial, like, depending on the budget of the movie yeah, or the what. Right. There's a lot that goes into so it. It's, I, always, I like to talk more about, in general, the fact that, like, women are not making the same as men in any industry. So yes. that's, I mean, not, I shouldn't say any industry. Some industries yeah. they are. But there, it's, it's a, you know, there's still a long way to go. There's also the rhetoric that we hear that's similar to the rhetoric in the movie yeah. that we're just supposed to excuse as, you know, just boys being boys. It's right. Not, it's not okay. So I'll be watching you to make sure that you keep the rhetoric and you change the rhetoric. All right, you okay, too. You no, know, I do. I have two We've young daughters. We've all got to do it. Yeah, We've no, all got to do, do it. it.